Storm Shadow missiles are precision-guided cruise missiles with a firing range in excess of 250 kilometers. Its multi-stage warhead creates an initial penetrating charge to clear soil or enter a bunker, followed by a delay fuse to control detonation of the main warhead. The weapons have been used in operations in Iraq, Libya and the Gulf. Former RAF commander Greg Bagwell said when used it could make enemy targets very vulnerable, including in the war effort in Ukraine. Ukraine. It doesn't wait for the enemy to sort of come into, into, a, into a trench in front of you and fight them one on one. What you aim to do is destroy it piecemeal at distance so it can never bring that sort of uh, mass, if you will, to bear. That's what Storm Shadow finally gives Ukraine the ability to do. And if they can do that, then they will really hurt the Russian effort. The weapon can be launched from a number of different aircraft. When fired, the missiles will allow pilots to stay further back from front lines due to its long range capabilities. The missiles also work in low altitude to avoid detection from enemy radar before latching onto its target with an infrared seeker. The aircraft effectively fire and forgets. It, it turns away, lets it go and, and, and can watch on the news what it does, quite frankly. So, so yeah, the airplane's only a very minor part of, of, of the firing chain, if you like. The, the missile then does its own thing. It, it's called an air launch cruise missile because it then becomes, if you like, you know, not, not unlike a suicide drone, you could argue, but it's an air launched one in this case and, and is a lot bigger and a lot and has a lot more punch. And, and the beauty of Storm Shadow is it, it's mostly effective against large static targets because it's designed to take them out, whatever they may be, whether it's a railhead, a bridge, a bunker, storage area, whatever it might be. So you can actually pre-plan those targets well ahead of the mission. RAF tornadoes used Storm Shadow missiles operationally for the first time during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, although they were yet to officially enter service, an accelerated testing schedule saw them employed by the RAF 617 squadron in conflict. Percy Chambers, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.